recently been asked, Bill, how come you don't wear a tie when you do these videos? You have a few of them behind you. Why don't you put one of those on? Well, Eric, this is just for you. My name is Bill Daniels. I'm a direct lender here in Tustin, California, and I help my clients not just know the how, but the why behind home qualifying and what it takes to get home financing these days. So how much of a loan can I qualify for? Well, really, there's two ways of qualifying. Number one is what the lender says that you can afford, but number two is what you're comfortable with paying. So let's talk about what a lender looks at initially for the pre-qualification, if you will. There are four core areas that a lender will look at. Number one is credit. Number two is employment. And number three is income, which is different than employment. And I'll talk about that. Number four are assets. Now, talking about credit, a few things that they look for, obviously, is the FICO score, number one. But number two, they look in deeper as far as how you make your payments on time, how many lates there are, uh, collections or charge-offs, uh, bankruptcies, foreclosures, and how long it's been since one of those incidents had occurred. I actually did a video blog earlier on the short sale versus foreclosure and how it will affect your uh, borrowing power in the future. Now, I said number two and number three, employment and income. They are very different. Employment on one hand, we're talking about longevity, how long you've been in the same industry. Typically two years is needed. Number two is have there been any, any large gaps of employment over the last two years? They don't usually want to see more than 30 days. So you might have had two, three jobs. As long as there's no gaps, it's not necessarily going to be an issue. If you're self-employed, they usually want to see two years of having self-employment income. Now some things can get a little tricky with employment. Let's just say you went from a W-2 salary employee and you went to become a contract employee or 1099. They actually consider that as self-employed. Now income on the other hand, you might say I make $75,000 a year. Well it's not always calculated on your most recent 12 months. Uh, for example, let's just say you change jobs and you now receive $50,000 of a salary but $25,000 in bonus or commission. If it's the first year on that job, usually they're only going to use your base income for qualifying. So it's good to have two years with the same employer having that commission or bonus. If you're self-employed, the fluctuation from year to year, oftentimes they'll have to average the last two years. So employment and income, they do go hand in hand, but they are looked at independently. Now finally, assets. I've actually done a couple video blogs on assets. One was on source and seasoning uh, assets and also on funds needed to close. You might want to take a look at those for more insight on assets. But in a nutshell, bank statements that they'll want to look at to make sure you have enough for the down payment, for the closing costs, for the prepaid items, and sometimes even for reserves. So those are four core areas that lenders look at when qualifying someone for a home loan. Credit, employment, income, and assets. There are many variables and oftentimes questions that need to be answered depending on someone's situation. If you felt this video was helpful, please subscribe to my blog on the right. I post these video blogs every Friday. Thank you so much for watching. With or without a tie, my name is Bill Daniels. You make it a great day.